when creating an advertising campaign on LinkedIn. Firstly, you'll need to create an advertising account. Secondly, you'll need to create a new campaign. Thirdly, you need to select the type of campaign that you're going to run. Number four is to name your campaign. Five is to add a post or create a new post. Six is the audience creation stage. Seven is where you're going to set your budget and define your campaign schedule. And finally, number eight is where you're going to go ahead and actually launch the campaign. Step number one, if you don't have an advertising account on LinkedIn, you'll need to set one up. And in order to do so, you must have a company or LinkedIn showcase page. Step two, once created, access your advertising account and create a new campaign. Step number three, next you're going to be asked what kind of campaign you're looking to run. LinkedIn offers three main types of ads. A sponsored update is a post that appears in your targeted audience's LinkedIn feed. A text ad appears either at the top of your target audience's page as a line of text or just to the right hand side of the page and is accompanied by a small thumbnail image. The third option is a sponsored email, which is a personalized message sent directly to an individual's LinkedIn inbox who are active on LinkedIn. Step four. Next, it's time for us to name our campaign and decide what we want to happen once someone clicks on our ad. So do we want to send them to a web page or some content or collect data using a lead generation form? So in this example, we're going to drive people to our webinar registration page. Step five. Now we need to decide whether we're going to sponsor an existing post or create a completely new one. And in this example, we're simply going to select an existing post that we've already posted on LinkedIn. Step six, the audience creation stage. This is where we'll start to specify our targeting criteria and build our audience. Now, LinkedIn offers a variety of options here. We can either retarget visitors who have recently visited our site. We can upload our own list of companies or email addresses, or we can use LinkedIn's targeting segments. And in this example, we're going to go ahead and use LinkedIn's data. So we'll begin to populate the segments with the targeting criteria that we specified earlier. Seniority of VPs and directors. The role is anyone working in a risk management or a compliance capacity. Industry, we're looking at the insurance sector. Our location is the United States of America and the United Kingdom. And the company size, we're looking at the large enterprise organizations. As you specify your targeting criteria, you'll be able to see your audience size listed on the right hand side of the page. And as you begin to specify your targeting criteria, LinkedIn will also begin to make some suggestions to help you augment your list. LinkedIn offers a wide scope of criteria to build your audience from. There's location, and this is a mandatory segment. But then we've got seniority, industry, job title, company size, company name, industry sector, job function, member schools, fields of study, degrees, member skills, LinkedIn group members, gender, age, years of experience and company followers. You can also exclude certain criteria and enable your campaign to include the LinkedIn audience network. This means extending the reach of your audience by having your post displayed on a network of publishers outside of the LinkedIn network. Step seven. So we're happy with the audience that we specified and now it's time for us to set our budget and campaign schedule. So in this example, we're going to opt for a cost per click campaign as we're looking to generate leads. We're going to input our total budget of $3,000, but we can also, if we so wish, set a daily limit in terms of 
clicks in order for us to make our budget last as long as possible. LinkedIn is an extremely expensive platform in comparison with other networks and it's very easy to spend your entire budget very quickly. Next, we need to determine what our cost per click bid is. Now, LinkedIn will suggest what this should be based on what other advertisers are bidding for a similar audience. So in this example, LinkedIn suggesting that we bid $15.05 as other advertisers are bidding between $13.68 and $19.76. Now we don't have to take on board LinkedIn's suggested bid rate. We can actually bid as low as the minimum set, which is $5.25, but it's advisable as we'll not be competing with any of the other advertisers. We can then specify start and end dates for the campaign. Although note, you can always refine your targeting criteria, your campaign dates and your bid rate once you've launched the campaign. Finally, if we decide to run some multivariant testing or in other words some different creatives, we can specify how they appear. Step eight. So the final step is for us to launch the campaign. Once we've done that, it's then advisable to keep tabs on how the campaign is performing. So if we're not seeing the results that we were aiming for, then we may need to possibly increase our bid rate, or we might need to adjust our targeting criteria or even amend the creative. LinkedIn offers real-time campaign metrics so that you can track and report on the campaign's performance.